So, uh, maybe five, ten minutes into idle, uh, we noticed something. You see that on the ground? You know that's not good. Uh, so luckily, against our better judgment, we were going to, oh, we're going to clean up our tools, we're going to do this and that. We stayed close to the car. We happened to be sitting in the driver's seat. We were checking those check engine codes, which was a, a boost sensor and um, something with a VVT solenoid on the intake. So that could be the solenoid, which we did get used um, and replaced. Could be that, could be the wiring on it. You know, nothing major. Um, and then we heard something that sounded weird. It didn't sound right, obviously, on an engine with zero miles. Um, and then we heard a large clank and bang. And, you know, luckily we we're sitting in, in the driver's seat. We we're able to turn the engine off right away. I heard something hit the ground and I'm like, oh, that's weird. So I, I thought, well, um, if it hit the ground, it's not internals. The engine was still running. Um, it, it almost sounded like suspension clanking, you know, like a big bolt or, or something like that. Um, and then coming around, I opened the hood and I saw, oh, great. You know, there's oil that spewed. Um, and there was oil kind of, you can't see it with the, the rain, uh, fresh rain here. Um, and then what I found on the ground was half of our cam gear, half of it. I took a look and I said, oh, wow. Um, and then uh, talking to some other people. So, you know, we got a fresh oil bath. Luckily I turned the engine off, the oil pump stopped and this is the highest point of the entire engine where oil would flow. So, um, you know, uh, it, it stopped pretty quickly, but, um, you know, we, uh, we got an oil bath. And uh, so uh, talking to some people and on the back of their cam gears it is stamped from Volvo, do not open, do not separate, do not do anything. And obviously you're not supposed to open because everything in there is spring loaded. We didn't open that, but we did uh, obviously separate the cam um, gear center hub from the teeth to do the painting. Um, and when you put those five bolts on, there is just, if you take a look, just a smidge, right? It can be turned or kind of maneuvered where those hubs are centered onto the cam gear. Um, so our suspicion is that when they went back on, um, you know, there's no way to center those uh, perfectly. And we tried to line it back up with the witness marks from the bolts, but, you know, being just off a little bit and these things are spinning so dang quick, um, that I don't know, it just kind of broke that off the internals in there, um, you know, broke off and floating around. So, uh, we have another set of these from a, a buddy he has a brand new set Volvo that he got, uh, that we're sitting around, not brand new, but he bought a head for a head, um, build and they came with these and he didn't need them. So they're shipped out. They're on a truck already coming our way. But unfortunately the timing belt, uh, has been soaked in oil. Uh, even though it's a zero mile brand new, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, these cam gears have to come off, which means I get to pull all of this stuff off. I mean, luckily the engine stays in, but I get to get the cam locking tool back out. Uh, turn this. I mean, everything's still kind of turning. Nothing fell off, but obviously my exhaust VVT is not going to be working and oil will be spewing out uh, of there without the cap in place um, or the plate. Uh, so we're not going to risk it. Timing belt is getting trashed. We're getting a brand new one. Um, but now we get to do a timing belt on a zero mile engine that just had a timing belt put on it last week. Um, and now we get to do it uh, with, you know, one inch of clearance and get to really test our skills again on that. Not a big deal. I mean, I knew upon startup that there was going to be something. And when I turned it on, I thought it was maybe, okay, two check engine lights, not a big deal. Um, and luckily I was able to turn the engine off and luckily we don't run plastic covers on here, right? So if you had the plastic cover that was here and covering it, this wouldn't have been able to pop off and drop down. It probably would have stuck in there and possibly uh, bound up in a timing belt, which would have caused uh, internal damage, right? If, if that timing belt jams up, skips a tooth, anything like that, the head would have grenaded and that would have been catastrophic. So the moral of the story is if you want to do a cool paint job on your... Uh, 
tiny ears, do not separate them. Just spend the extra time to really tape off the different spots. So when we get our new ones, we're gonna do the same paint job, uh, metallic gold uh, mica with a brilliant blue metallic splatter. But we are going to make sure that everything is uh, stays in one piece and goes on in one piece. So again, uh, you know, we gotta pop this. Uh, the new gears are coming. A new timing belt is already ordered at the local shop. We have some new caps because those are going to be trash once we pull them off. Um, and we're going to get to do that job. Unfortunately, uh, while our goal was to start this before the snow comes, uh, we have, I don't know, maybe about two hours until snow's coming. Uh, the new gears won't be here until next week. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to turn this on. See if I can get some power to the power steering pump, straighten it out, and back this thing all the way up against the trash shed there so that in this space here I can bring the XC60 uh, down, get uh, snow chains ready on it, um, you know, and, and be ready. Uh, and until then, I mean, while I'm waiting for parts, I still have to bleed the uh, clutch. Um, you know, that's something I can do without turning the engine on. Um, I have to super clean and uh, maybe even pressure wash the entire engine bay. Got to wait for some sun for that to happen. That's a couple days out and depending on how much snow we get today and how quickly it melts, um, you know, that may be an issue. But um, other than that, that's kind of where it sits. Uh, so the journey is not over. Um, stay tuned. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a fluke thing. A lot of people probably wouldn't separate those gears and be messing with that so it's not something that you necessarily would have to worry about on your build but it is something that you should be aware of that if you were thinking about that that um you know the, you don't want to you don't want to end up in the same situation that we are in now but it's a learning experience and it's information that we get to share with with everyone else okay i don't know where we're, uh the last video left off other than hey this broke uh so faceplate uh, broke off. Um, that wobbled itself out. Once that's open, it's not usable again. There's the other one that's off. Brand new one's upstairs. Got the timing belt off. Plastic cover. First thing we did was pull the whole uh, wiring harness, get the cam lock tool in after we set it to top dead center. Um, had to get the uh, motor mount off, so holding the engine up uh, there. This has all been uh, degreased, super cleaned, and washed out, um, ready to go. We did have to pull the uh, belt from the crank to the AC, uh, AC compressor off so that the new timing belt can get fished in there. Um, and... Uh, lower cover there we pulled that off just to see if there was anything or any debris or anything that could uh, flush out everything looks good in there everything's nice and clean down here uh, I think we'll try to fish the new belt in and uh, probably call that a day uh, and then up next we'll be Getting that belt on, getting the new cam gears on and torqued. Cam's are already at the top, top dead center. Uh, and then getting down there, we'll probably lower the engine so that it clears. Uh, where is it? Uh, we might have to lower it quite a bit to get to uh, the tensioner. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, it has to go down maybe four, four inches um, to get that 12 millimeter on there. But, eh, you know, it's not too big of a job, but, uh, you know, if I started earlier, I could have done it today, but that's where we're at. Okay, uh, we got the new timing belt fished in. We have the uh, AC compressor belt back on. We have enough access to hit that tensioner. Uh, so tonight we are going to not make the same mistake as we did uh, the first time by disassembling those cam gears to paint them, but uh, they will get the same uh, paint job. And then uh, we'll slide those on, line up the timing marks, hand tight, and then 
get the uh, timing belt on, tension it, and then torque those motor mount back on, cam locking gear off, wire harness. Um, essentially, in two hours, we've managed to get all the way to the point and the first step into putting it back together. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we got a, a storm coming in Saturday, so tomorrow's Friday. <sighs> May be able to uh, try to fire this thing up again. We'll see. Brand new timing belt on. Tensioner is tensioned. Brand new cam gears. Same paint job. Uh, timing marks all lined up. Did a couple spins, did everything else. Um, cam locking tool is off. Uh, everything is torqued uh, on both sides. Uh, brand new plugs are popped in. Uh, I'll start putting some uh, stuff back on, which I guess will be the motor mount. And then uh, wiring harness, intake system. Uh, hopefully get ourselves closer to a, a startup today. We'll see. Just It's exciting, but it's also like, okay, here we go. A little scary. A couple of hours later, everything is booted back up and cleaned off a little bit more. Again, I'm not worried about this intake box and that pipe because uh, they're coming off after I uh, can hopefully get this thing running and do a smog check. One thing I forgot is after I put the motor mount on, I realized, oh, wait a minute, that plastic cover goes on before the motor mount. Uh, not a big deal, four bolts, but I'm not gonna mess with that now. Give me something to do later when I'm uh, putting new parts on or whatever. Uh, just the uh, the four bolts in there, that pull the motor mount, slide that down. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna run up, get the car keys, uh, again, a little nervous, but uh, we'll see what happens. A little nerve wracking, but a uh, good buddy just reminded me over text that, you know, if I spun the engine over on the timing uh, two to four times, all the timing marks line back up, then, uh, you know, we're good to go. Uh, see a little bit of like oil burning off from the, the last spill. Uh, couldn't quite reach up in there because that's just oil, oil on the exhaust. We're gonna have to deal with that for a while. and uh, report back. 